Ladies and gentlemen, Cage Warriors Academy presents three three-minute rounds in the amateur bantamweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner, weighing in at 135 pounds, representing Black Phoenix MMA, Tegan Turton! And his opponent in the red corner, weighing in at 135 pounds, Representing One MMA Academy, Zach McGee! Bantamweight action here then, Cage Warriors Academy 30 here at the Charter Hall. We've got Tegan Turton, two and one out of Black Phoenix MMA in the long black board shorts. And he's facing off with Zach McGee, four and three out of One MMA Academy. Three three minute rounds in the Bantamweight division. Amateur rule set, Mark Heath and Nick Albert here with you. As both guys look to take the center of the cage and it's Tegan Turton who's done that in the early going. And Tegan doing a good job of closing that distance. He's got a definite reach disadvantage but he was able to use it wisely. Now he's looking to try to stop this big slam takedown. Oh, that's deep. So McGee gets the takedown. And Turton immediately threatens the guillotine. Good job by And he's going to try and use that to stand back up. He's going to push those hips away. What he doesn't want to do, though, is put too much pressure on his own face as he's trying to do that and burn that arm out. Back to his feet then, Tegan Turton, after that initial takedown from Zach McGee. So Zach McGee did a good job of staying patient the entire time in there and didn't put himself into a bad position. Nice knee there from Turton. It's the exposed midriff of McGee. Single leg to double leg, good chain wrestling by McGee. And McGee's going to take him for a ride. Big slam from Zach McGee. And he was able to get his head free. There we go. Thinking again, trying to work back to that guard to be able to have a bit of control on Zach. Zach doing a good job of keeping his hands off the mat. I, Zach's good, doing a good job of trying to control the hips, go body, body, head at this point. He's keeping his head in the right spot and looking for that time to be able to step over to get to half guard. Turton's doing a good job of at least not taking a ton of damage. He's not allowing him to posture up. Turton pushes McGee off. Is McGee going to let him back to his feet? Looking to land the shots from top. Looking to pass that leg. End up north, south right here. Oop, time's up. As we move into the second round here. Tegan Turton, Zach McGee. The 30th anniversary Cage Warriors Academy show here in Colchester. Big swing by Zach McGee. Turton needs to get inside if he's going to land these shots. He's, as you said in the first round, he's at a reach and height disadvantage here. And he's attempted to do that by backing Zach up to the cage. Nice circling off there from Tegan to get back to the center. You see Turton in that southpaw stance. Goes high in that. Heck, it just went past the chin. Little attempted Superman punch there from McGee. Didn't pull the trigger on it. Big wide hook. Turn as he looks to make his entrance and get the leg of McGee. Good knee on the break. And now it's McGee on the leg of Turn. He lets it go though, and we're back to the center. 
And down we go. McGee catches the kick and he's going to end up on top again. Again, it'll be interesting to see what he uses to try to get this guard open and then pass. Tegan's got to work to try to get back to this wall to try to wall walk to get up. Good half guard position here by Zach McGee. In the corner of McGee is shouting repeatedly at him, take your time, take your time. And one of the big things behind it is when you can get to these positions, you gotta settle, then move to the next position like he's done. Now he's in half guard. And now the instruction is knee into the mount. So look for him to put that knee on the belly of Tegan Turton and step across. Now he's going for the arm, is he's going to attack the arm? Yep, looks like he's going to try to step over for it. Tegan sees that, is able to turn into him. Tegan doing a good job to get up, but he's actually giving up his back in the process. He's going to have to look to try to use that cage to slice him off, which he can't do, unfortunately, because now he's out in the back. And Zach's got both hooks in, going for that power half. Good position this for Zach McGee then. Well, Zach's quoted just said he has 20 seconds to work from here, so apparently this is going fast. Yeah. And it is indeed, as we hear the 10 second clacker, and it's going to end with McGee on the back of Turton. And there we go, second round in the books. We're about to get underway then, third and final round. Referee Dam overhead, he just mopping up some excess water. Checking both guys have got their gum shields in and we're about to get back into the action. Tegan Turton, Zach McGee here at Charter Hall in Colchester. What can Turton find in this third round? McGee comes out with a good combination. Wow. Turton threw a huge overhand right there, missed. Oh. Good leg trip. Sweeping right hook, and a nice push there from Zach McGee. That big right hand again from Turton, but he can't find the range for it. Goes to the body. Again, he's stalking him down. Now he's trying to cut him off. This is what I said he needed to be able to do. Oh, and he's looking for the neck again. And this time, He's actually trying to sit up underneath the chin. And again, McGee's trying to work to get out of it. Yeah, I think he's going to be OK. Yep, pops the head out. And now he's back on top of Tegan Turton here. And now, I mean, with Tegan Turton, he's got to look to try to throw up some triangles, arm bar. He's looking to isolate one of the arms to get that triangle. Doing a good job of nullifying the posture. He's got to really work to get that hand in. He's got to get his hands off the mat. It's a good move by him, pushing Tegan up against Cage. Very near his own corner as well. So we can get those instructions, and they're liking his work at the moment. And if you're Tegan Turton here, you're approaching Hail Mary mode. You need to find a way of doing something here. Whether it's try to sweep in an up kick to land something big here. I did try to throw the up kick there, but McGee was wise to it. And here we are again with McGee on top. McGee settling in, in half guard. He's got control of the head here. We've got to lock it down. Tegan continuing to fight off his back, though, throwing those punches. McGee looking to try to pass the mount here. Keep bridging up to try to bridge all the way through to circle out. Good way to create a scramble here. He's got his back to the cage so it can't get taken. Now with short time left. Yeah, time's just going to run out here. 
Good fight, well matched, but you'd have to say Zach McGee's done enough there, you'd imagine. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three have it, 30 to 27, for your winner by unanimous decision. In the red corner, Zach 